hello guys uh, today we are i'm going to demonstrate you how to use an presentation tool as well as another software known as a vlc code to convert the output file of a presentation tool so that it can be uploaded on a youtube channel very easily because we recently we received so many requests related to uh, how to convert that particular file using vlc whether it supports a uh, uh, hd resolution or not so that we are going to discuss today so very first step that we need to do is to open a presentation tool so i'm opening it uh, on my system so you can see it over here but try to understand in my case presentation tool is there in a uh, start menu but in, you may have and uh, shortcut available on your desktop first of all let me explain why to use an presentation tool presentation tool is a great tool to capture uh, audio along with a video uh, as well as a uh, output of a powerpoint presentation on your screen this presentation tool software is freely available even if there is an pro version available free version had some limitations in contrast with the pro version which allows you to full screen that particular screen so that you can use entire screen but uh, there is no limitation on the uh, duration of the uh, work that you can execute using a presentation tool currently i am using a presentation tool version number 3.13 i have recently downloaded it you can check which version is Mm, available uh, on the internet whenever you are going to work with it so very first step that i am going to do is to load a presentation to load a presentation first of all you need to click on a open button over here and you need to browse to the location where you have saved a presentation try to understand that presentation uh, can be in ppt format it can be in pptx format or it can be in pps format but other formats may not be supported like it do not support a format like we have in case of open office that it odt format is not supported by this particular version or even if it is supported i have not personally checked it now the second step that we need to do is to set a camera but uh, for, for execution of this particular video i don't wanted to set any camera so i kept it off please try to understand black color indicate off and this red color indicate on after you do that if, if if in your system you have multiple cameras in this particular drop down list you can select which camera you wanted to use and which camera you don't wanted to use now see try to understand along with these settings we have by default uh, four possible settings over here in this particular setting only the output of camera will be visible and that's why you as an author will be visible in this setting the powerpoint presentation will be on the left hand side and in this particular plane a viewer or we can say camera output will be visible but the main problem with this setting is the bottom part is wastage of the available screen this is the setting in which okay see the uh, ppt is successfully uh, imported and i have 38 slides over here you can click on okay to accept it then this setting it allows you to select a camera position which is pip picture in picture so you can have an ppt going on in the background and pro uh, uh, as an front picture you can select an camera output but this is the best one where you can only show your ppt to the audience now see here you can see the ppt and need to change a uh, slide you can use these buttons to change it the most important thing is here in this place you can see the next upcoming slide and you can select an um, some tool to mark up on your uh, powerpoint presentation to highlight or to write something we have three different colors over here for example currently i picked a black color so i can write in a black color like this so, or even i can highlight a content even i can choose an another color and i can write with that color also now to remove whatever you have written on the slide you can use this this will erase everything that uh, you have written on a slide this is used to point out something but it will not write anything on the screen but only pointer will be captured another important section related to presentation tool is related to media this media allow you to do few more important thing with a, with presentation tool just uh, rather than having just an uh, powerpoint presentation for example another very useful tool over here is a draw see for example i wanted to represent something like i wanted to draw a pyramid so i can do it like this to uh, draw it uh, using a simple uh, paint related tool so these are the different tools that we can use for this and uh, in fact we have an eraser over here we can draw some shapes also like this and we can uh, explain those shape you can type some text over here inside this uh, inside this you can even we can use a brush also to color some part in fact only difference between color and paint is the width of that particular in fact we can use a different color to represent it and we, uh, uh, we can erase everything by using by clicking on this cut button so this is an another useful tool that is used uh, uh, very much useful in case of uh, teaching something this is the right right section in which you can type something for example welcome to the presentation on 
like that right so this is a much more professional format to discuss with the audience because here we can write something on the screen using a keyboard mouse rather than using a handwriting try to understand your handwriting may not be much professionally useful for example when you write it like you you can see that handwriting is not very readable when your resolution is less another important app is web here by clicking on this you can access and any particular website over here in fact you can show some uh, video uh, by putting a link in this particular section or in fact you can capture an entire screen not only powerpoint presentation but entire screen by clicking on this particular section now uh, see these are about the what we can do with this slide we, uh, it is highly recommended that before capturing your presentation you should uh, you should practice it with all these tools so that you will be more comfortable now once we complete with that we need to start our recording see to record something we have these four buttons over here one is a record then another is a pause then this is a stop and this is an review so as name indicate this record button is used to record a presentation now let me record a simple presentation so i am going black on a slide uh, or in fact you can click over here on a slide and let's go back to the uh, first slide now let me try to record something see for example something like this now when your recording start you can see that uh, the number will uh, blink over here like 0 1 like you can hear it now you can see that uh, recording had started you can now explain everything what your you want see there is an problem uh, right now because i am using a microphone in some other application so you may not be visible or, or uh, you may not be able to hear uh, the same thing which we are just now discussing on the file saved with a presentation tool now see i can pause it if i click on pause you can see that resume button is activated and this timer had stopped over here indicating that uh, the presentation had stopped now you can resume that particular presentation and you can continue your discussion on this but try to understand you cannot press a stop button if it is in a resume mode you always need to play it and then you need to stop button to stop a recording now see i recorded a video of total duration 27 second and now i stopped it now let's see what happen after you stop it stop a presentation uh, in contrast with other software the most important beauty of a, uh, this particular tool is you can save your file let's say i am calling this particular file as a name final in any location whereas other tool can save a file in default location only sometimes the default location may be flooded up with the information so you may be uh, it may be difficult for you to uh, search your latest video now i am clicking on save see that video is pro properly saved now let me see what i recorded and whether it is properly visible or not for to do that you need to click on review try to understand after clicking on review uh, the corresponding software which is default software for playing a video in your system will open in some system it is vlc but in my system a default software is windows media player now you can see that this is the clip i recorded and you can, you will be able to hear a sound also now let me close this video so this is what i want this is perfectly fine so now it's an time to convert that particular video into compatible format to do that first of all you need to open a tool known as a vlc so what i am going to do i am going to search that vlc tool in my system you can see that video Uh, lan and now inside that video lan i am going to uh, search for or uh, uh, to track a vlc you can see that window uh, vlc media player now once we open a vlc media player it is an time to convert it as we no more required in presentation tool let me switch it off so that uh, the speed can be increased now i am closing this particular software uh, presentation tool is now closed now vlc is open now step number 1 in case of vlc is click on media and select a option known as convert or save try to understand the problem uh, over here is the output generated by presentation tool is not directly compatible with youtube you need to convert it into the format which is compatible with youtube and to do that we are going to use an vlc media player so first thing is to load that particular file which we wanted to convert so that file which we wanted to convert i have saved in one location i am going on that particular location to um, select that particular file see this is the file which ca we uh, called it with the name final dot uh, you may be able to recall it it is final dot asf now click on convert button now after you click on convert button this is the file properly selected now this is the most important setting you need to select an proper profile profile there are multiple options and many among these are compatible with youtube but you can see that these two options are very simple to understand video for youtube hd and video for youtube sd i am going to select an video for youtube hd so that i did over here and now the last thing to do is to you need to select an destination see try to understand destination will by default use the same folder but you need to give some other name to the file same name will not be will not work so what i am going to do i will put a uh, youtube in its name to indicate that this is the final version now you need you should not change a 
uh, extension you that is uh, not essential to change the extension only you need to rename a file and then click on save option now uh, after clicking a save it will uh, it have not started uh, conversion yet so to start a conversion click on start button now see the conversion will start you can see that some progress is going on over here so it will take some time to come to a conclusion and after that see now you can see that this is an important setting it will ask that file is already there because we created it with there with that particular setting would you like to override that particular file yes we should so for one time i am repeating my word for first time you should click on override button now once you click on override button you will be able to see that this play button is now changed to pause button and this progress bar is proceeding further to indicate a progress of conversion now you can easily see that almost 7 seconds 8 seconds are completed out of 28 second video uh, file and conversion is in process once a conversion is completed the same pop up will come again but this time you should not click on convert again so that pop up should be selected only for once now you can see that conversion is completed and the pop-up appeared again so this time i will not click on overwrite i will simply close this particular thing and i will close this vlc now let's go back to the folder uh, in which we saved that uh, converted file as well as original file see this is the folder and you can see that these are the two file created and the size of the second file is significantly reduced it may be the case because it is because of the compression mechanism used you need not to worry about it now try to open this second file with a preferred tool i highly recommend to use a vlc to play this particular file and verify whether you, your video is completely audible is there any degradation in quality as well as you can verify whether audio is properly um, means whether you are properly audible or not and try to see, see specifically related things related to font whether font is proper or not if it is not then either you need to increase the font or while capturing a video you need to be careful that your resolution will not be decreased uh, we have used a maximum setting that is HD so that's why quality will not be degraded a lot now you can see that for entire duration of uh, 28 second it had created a file of around size 1.82 MB and it is significantly okay if you create a file which is uh, less than and uh, duration of uh, an hour because it will not increase more than 200 to 300 or at the max 400 to 500 uh, MB file will be created. So now last step is to simply uh, transfer this particular file on YouTube. You can use any option or mobile phone. You can uh, click on upload button or you can uh, use an uh, uh, your browser to upload that particular file. So that's it for today. Now let me stop a session over here. If you face any further problem, let me know. I will capture an remaining part and um, share it with you. So this is about how you can share and uh, how you can create a presentation using presentation tool and convert it using an VLC. See you then. Bye.